Hello, this brief video, I will share with you some tips and hints on how to request money from the Student Activity Fee Budgeting Committee. The committee's purpose, purpose is to distribute the funds from the Student Activity Fee to student organizations that will largely benefit the Rockhurst community and the students. The committee holds request meetings two times a year, providing students with the opportunity to request money for a variety of beneficial programs and services. The information can be found on this link. You can also just go to the main Rockhurst website and then click on Campus Life and then Student Organizations and you'll find it under Student Resources. You can also find it on the Student Senate website under Documents and Forms. The request process is held for five weeks during each semester. This semester, they are on Wednesdays from 3.30 to 4.30 on October 7th, 14th, and 21st, and 3.30 to 5 on the 28th. Um, we have already held one meeting. Sometimes it will carry over into November, but our plan is to be finished by October. The signups are online. All organizations must submit their proposal electronically to me, Angie Carr, at that email by 4.30 on the Monday before their Wednesday presentation. For funding requests over 500, organizations are required to make a presentation, which is done via Zoom. If the request is under 500, there is no presentation required. Simply email the form to Angie Carr. In the event, once you find out the amount that you've received, you do not agree or wish to appeal, student organizations have the right to do so within 10 days. Those appeals will be sent to the Student Senate President and will be heard by the full Senate. Here are some basic funding guidelines. Funding is available to groups that do not have selective membership. So if you have to have a certain GPA, if you have to receive an invitation to join, if you have to be in a certain member, if you have to be in a certain major in order to be in your student organization, then you can only request money for events that are open to the general student body. So for instance, if you have to be a scuba diving major um, to be in the scuba diving club, which does not exist. I'm just using that as an example. So say you um, have to be a scuba diving major to be in the scuba diving club. The scuba diving club could only request money if they wanted to have an open, work, open event for the campus population on the benefits of scuba diving or something like that. Um, selective membership groups could also request money for travel, although this year due to COVID, um, that we're not hearing any travel requests because the university has suspended travel indefinitely. If you have open membership, meaning anyone, anyone can join, then you may request money for um, virtually anything. We do have some limits. So events must be held on campus. They must be open to all Rockhurst University students. Events may not be co-sponsored with outside organizations or non-campus groups other than the office, uh, unless it's um, approved by the Office of Student Life. All events are alcohol free unless otherwise requested and approved by the Office of Student Life. And again, like I said, funding can be uh, requested for all organizations in a, in a, in a typical semester, but um, travel has been suspended by the university, so not at this time. Additional restrictions or guidelines, organizations can use no more than $200 per semester at their discretion for food at meetings. And again, this is for organizations that have um, that do not have membership requirements. Organizations can spend no more than $12 per person for to buy t-shirts for their members. So say uh, an open organization um, that doesn't have restrictive membership wants to buy sweatshirts that cost $24, $12 of the student activity fee money could go towards those t-shirts and then the individual could contribute $12 individually for themselves. But the student activity fee budgeting committee can provide no more than 12. Funds cannot be requested or used to purchase gifts or prizes for individuals. So say an organization wanted to purchase a gavel for their outgoing president, they would have to either fundraise or use money from dues for that. Money from the student activity fee cannot go to purchase that. Funds cannot be requested to pay national dues or pins or uh, graduation stoles. Those need to be individually purposed or fundraised. 
Student Activity Fee Budgeting Committee cannot go towards a donation to a not-for-profit. Uh, so say someone wanted to request $500 for the American Cancer Society, that will not be granted. However, if the organization did want to do a fundraiser for the American Cancer Society, they could request money from the Student Activity Fee Budgeting Committee to help start that fundraiser. Say they wanted to do, um, they wanted to make bracelets and sell the bracelets. The Student Activity Fee Budgeting Committee could fund the beads and the supplies to make the bracelets for the organization to sell to benefit the American Cancer Society. Student organizations cannot request use of SAFE money to purchase alcohol for any event at any time ever. And again, funding for conference on a typical semester is usually allowed, but at this time we have suspended travel. We like to work a semester in advance. So typically what you're requesting in October is for the spring 2021 semester, uh, but there is current money available. If you would like some funding, you can do a same semester request. We are hearing those at this time. What the committee is looking for is who's gonna benefit from the use of this money. Each student pays into the student activity fee. So we want the most bang for your buck. So we're gonna ask who's gonna benefit from this and we want a, a variety of students and a large array of students to benefit from this. If it's only gonna benefit a few people, then the request um, may, may not be, be granted. Uh, we're looking for large impact and who's gonna benefit the most. We're gonna ask does the organization pay dues and what are the members contributing? While it's not required or necessary, we do wanna see that, that individuals are contributing. And then how does this fit the purpose of the organization and the mission of the university and the student organization? So make sure it falls in line with the mission. Here's how you're gonna complete a form. And this is, is typically the larger question. So bear with me while I share my screen for that. When I clicked on that link, Sure, I'm sure hopeful the video shows this. Um, it brings you to the student resources. This is where you do the sign up and the student activity fee budgeting committee request form. Bear with me while I open this. And my computer's thinking about it. We're going to look at the regular request form. That is not the form. I'm just going to pull that up on my computer. Okay, so hopefully now you're seeing the Excel spreadsheet form. I'm just gonna double check here. It doesn't look like it is. I'm going to assume that it is. You'll notice there are four tabs on this form. This is the main page. And while not everything needs to be completed, we will need contact information for these people, we're going to need to know the name of the organization, the semester and the year that you're requesting money for. We're going to need to know the number of uh, members for the organization. Then you're going to go to this tab, which is your current semester. If you're requesting money for the same semester, 
they're going to fill this out in enough detail that the committee is going to know what you're wanting. Now, some organizations have larger membership, have members paying dues, and have a significant amount of information. This we don't need to know every single detail of what your money is going towards. So, say that um, your members pay dues, and then you have 12 different categories of things that those dues go toward. Simply put dues, the amount per person that people pay, the total amount, and then in here, you can put, it goes towards national dues, it goes towards membership pins, that you know what the members are paying are social fees, they're paying for t-shirts, just in this same expenditure category, so that it said, okay, our dues are going to this, and say the due, the, the amount is $2,000, and then that $2,000 is coming out here. You're showing that. And then here is you're gonna, you're gonna put what you're requesting. So say you're requesting money for um, a pancake breakfast um, to showcase um, mental health awareness. And then you're gonna put what the amount is, $200. And you know, obviously this is open to everyone. We're gonna have a pancake breakfast. We're gonna have displays on, on healthy eating and ways to, for, to keep your mental health. So you don't have to go in great detail, but we wanna know what you're requesting money for. And that's if you're current semester. Say you're not requesting money for the current semester. We still need to know how much is coming in and how much is going out. So simply you would put you know, $2,000 in dues, it goes towards membership dues, membership pins, things like that. And so you're gonna see a, a, a zero here, it's gonna automatically add up in red that you're requesting 200 for this semester. If you're not requesting money for this semester, this should be a zero balance, or maybe it'll show a carryover for the next semester. Say you're requesting money for next semester, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna put in where your income is coming from. So dues, maybe you did some fundraising, but the dollar amounts here. So say our dues add up to 500, we're gonna do some fundraising that's $50. Actually, sorry, it's gonna be a bigger. Fundraiser is $50. And it's gonna show your total. Then you're gonna put in your, um, you know, uh, our expenses were membership pins, national dues, et cetera, et cetera. And that's gonna show 550. Then you're going to, for next semester, you're gonna request money for t-shirts for members, uh, $12 t-shirts for members. And I, I have no idea what that is. So let's just say it's, uh, I think it's 522. Um, you're gonna put 522 there and so forth, and you're gonna list what you're requesting money for. Um, in a perfect world, it should automatically add up here, so we'll fix that form. I think it actually wants to be here. So you're requesting 1,072, and then it should come out on this here because you had a carryover from last semester. So that's how you fill out the form. Um, don't make it harder than it is. And again, like I said, um, we need to know enough information that we know what you're requesting money for, but we don't need to know so much. It, it doesn't need to be difficult. Um, we don't need to spend hours and hours on these forms. So I'm going to share my screen now. Sure hope I'm sharing my screen. These are just helpful hints that I just went over that you can read through. Um, some student organizations like to submit PowerPoint presentations, totally fine, it is not necessary. If it'll help you keep on task with what you're presenting, great, submit the PowerPoint presentation, but be sure you're submitting that with your request form because we are doing these meetings via Zoom. So we'll need that information uh, when you submit your request forms. Please sign up early. Please do not wait until the last meeting to sign up. Um, there's plenty of time. There's uh, four meetings coming up. Um, 
please be sure that that uh, you can sign up and, and have your ducks in a row for the next semester or for this semester if that's the case. Normally I would ask you questions at this time and that is pretty much how you request money through the Student Activity Review Budgeting Committee. The students that are on the committee are um, America Romo, Forrest Raudabush, Emma Barbin, they're, they're all senators. And bear with me, we have two new senators on the committee while I pull those up. You can also reach out to me, Angie Carr Robinette, Max Zuniga, and Alex Murray and Vanessa Rosquetta. So those are the members on the committee. Please feel free to reach out to any of them or myself for questions and request away. We have money to give to student organizations and we'd like to give that. Thank you so much and have a great day.